Hello and welcome to UAL Supercars again. Round two, this time it is race two. And uh, of course it's a reverse grid from qualifying. So my teammate is on pole. Um, JWF is in second this time. You know, it's just a reverse grid from last time. Uh, but we did have two newcomers, uh, Lewis Scaife again, he joined the first race but backed out very quickly, I'm not sure what happened, uh, I think he couldn't move off the line or something like that because of a stupid game glitch, but that meant he started at the back until Waste joined, uh, he was actually in the wrong car as well, this car was not supposed to be used for this series as it's all meant to be V8's rear wheel drive, so... Even if he finished the race, he would have been disqualified, but he didn't finish the race. He was just struggling. I think it was just testing, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so unfortunately for them two, bit issues, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's get round two underway here at Maggie East Circuit. You see there, John, uh, not John, sorry, JWF and Kato both jump the start, which means I think... It slows them down for a bit. You see, look, they can't move properly. And if you watch the start here, yeah, see, the cars there that can't move. We managed to get a really good start. But we had uh, Callum up the inside of us. There was a little bit of touching, but not much. You see the big contact between Arctic Devils and John. Uh, we go up the inside of Top of Waterley. Callum tries to follow us through. See, we break late there. We try to get a good run. Our teammate, unfortunately, has been overtaken by Jordan. You see here, John. Our teammate defending from him. And I think there's more contacts soon between someone. But you see, John managed to get the move. We got a much better run than the pair of them. And our teammate here got touched there by John. I don't know why that was, but my teammate was on the inside. She didn't want to make contact. He saw that I was behind him, I think, and managed to let us through in a good way, so that was good. Thank you to my teammate for that. I'm not sure if he did let me through, but I'm assuming he did. See there, a bit more contact. There was a lot of contact in this race in the early laps, but yeah, it was a good race overall, so I'll let you watch for a bit. see here the top four from the last race even though we all started at the back we're already into the top six of this race so we all definitely had some very good pace and uh, obviously we want to try and win the championship so we're all pushing as hard as we could to try and get to the front of the field as quickly as possible See here, we're trying to go around the outside of John. Can't quite pull it off, but we did get very close and we managed to sit in his slipstream here. Remember, we got a good run down the main straight. I think we go to the outside yet. Yeah, we moved to the outside. I don't think we go for the move though. We managed to get a much better run on John here. And we were just going to follow him through basically. As you see there, I got a very good run off that turn. I noticed this is where I was a lot quicker than some of the drivers. John goes to the inside. 
but he, he pulls like a little bit of a double move and we managed to get the cut back on him anyway because he runs wide so we managed to overtake him there John went for a move, couldn't quite get it stopped, but it was a good attempt. That meant now, though, he was getting overtaken by Callum, so unfortunate there for John, but couldn't quite get his car stopped in time. As you can see, Jordan had actually got a great start. He got past my teammate onto turn one, I think, and that allowed him to get a bit of a gap. But uh, I don't know what happened there. I think I was a bit of lag in the replay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, me, Callum, and John were the fastest three cars on track at this point, so we were catching Jordan pretty quickly. As you can see, now we're all very close to the back of Jordan here. And uh, I think this is the right lap. Yeah, there we go. We got a very good run on Jordan, and we just tucked into his slipstream. Callum followed us into his slipstream, and then John followed us as well. But if you watch this, you see it's very tight. But there it is. I move right just after Callum did and he did very well to avoid me because I didn't see him move but we both go to the outside of Jordan here and we both get around the outside of him and Callum I think he made a bit of a mistake there touched the grass but he did manage to get the move done and John as well was following him through Jordan here on the inside didn't want to make contact which was good good from Jordan there but he unfortunately cost him both positions so unfortunate for Jordan but that was some very good racing Here, as you can see, Toko Oakley had started to catch up to the back of his teammate, who is Jordan, by the way, if you didn't know. And uh, there was a few uh, discussions going on between them two. 
Uh, mainly it was Jordan saying he's not going to let his team make it through. <laughs> so we were all hoping for a very good battle between them two. So let's watch. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is there is a mandatory pit stop in this race, so you can pit whenever you want, but you do have to make a pit stop, that is the key factor there, you do have to make a pit stop. there John and Toko Oakley went into the pits so they made the pits so they basically have to do 20 minutes on the uh, other compound of tyres which is the soft tyres I believe so they were trying to stretch their tyres but the first race was also 20 minutes so they should be good
see here, Callum had decided that this lap was the time to pit. So that kind of put me a bit under pressure because I didn't know if I wanted to pit yet. But I decided I was just going to push. I decided I was going to push and um, yeah, just try and get the most out of these tyres. Crucially for Callum, he had managed to pit and uh, get out in front of John, so that, that was a good pit stop for him. And as you can see here, we were coming up to lap waste, so I did not want to get held up by overtaking a lapped car, so I decided it was time to pit. Crucially for me, I'd managed to come out in front of Callum and John as well. still yet to pit so he was now leading the race again but uh, yeah his tyres were starting to die off I don't know why he didn't pit earlier than he does to be honest for me it just cost him time but uh, yeah Jordan decided to stay out Finally, Jordan had pitted, and uh, yeah, he did get overtaken uh, by a few cars, I think including his teammate, yeah, including his teammate, so that was unfortunate for Jordan, he did manage to come out in front of uh, the battle between Kato and JWF and Arctic Devils, though.
as we ride on board with me here for a little bit. You can see I've managed to pull a bit of a gap after the pit stops because those two were battling. And uh, yeah, I was just managing the pace, managing the tyres because there was only six minutes left to go. So I was just trying to maintain this gap basically. As you can see here as well, Kato and Arctic Devil were still battling. They were they were battling for about 10 laps, I think. They were battling for a very long time in this race, and uh, it was starting to allow JWF to catch up to them. See, there's a bit of contact between the pair of them, but uh, yeah, no, neither of them said anything, so it wasn't it wasn't something that needed to be penalised or anything like that. As you could see there, John was cutting the corners a little bit more than he should have, I would have said. But uh, yeah, nothing was said again and no penalties or anything were deemed necessary. Uh, but yeah, one of the drivers cutting the corners and running wide at that turn I mentioned in race one. So, you know, I think we need to be on the lookout for track limits maybe in future races. But yeah, nothing was done in this race about it. battle between teammates now was starting to heart up Jordan had managed to catch his teammate and uh, he didn't want to get stuck behind him basically so he was trying to get past his teammate and uh, yeah he'd, he'd done a really good job to be honest to 
to Jordan. He, he had done a really good job in this race of keeping up with the teammate. I think he went a bit too long before he pitted and that cost him a bit of time. So a bit of a strategy error, but yeah, he was, he was having a good race. Unfortunately for my teammate, he was still, uh, as this race was right after the other, he was still having his traction control issues, which is very unfortunate. It means he had been at the back for pretty much the entirety of both races, which is very unfortunate. But with them lot battling, even with his issues, he was starting to catch. And now as we go on to the last lap, you see we were still leading. We had the fastest lap of the Grand Prix as well. Don't know what I did there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we had basically managed to get through the traffic pretty quickly. We were leading by about lap five, I think. So we did manage to drive away a little bit. Obviously, the fastest lap time helps. And uh, we managed to look after the tyres as well. And unfortunately, because it was a timed race... Um, Arctic Devils, Kato, JWF, and my teammate, and Lewis Scaife, had already finished, unfortunately, for them. So they stay as they are in that order. Uh, let's continue on with the race. And for us, it had been a, a pretty good Grand Prix. I, yeah, like I said, I just managed to get through the traffic really well. And uh, yeah, we managed to just get the lead and stay there, basically. So that's two wins from two races for us, which I was really pleased about. You see, I'm weaving again. <laughs> I was really happy with that result. So we crossed the line in first. It was Callum once again in second. This time it was John in third. Um, very close battle between the teammates here at the end as well. Uh, Taco Walkley managed to stay ahead of Jordan there. But uh, it was a fantastic race from everyone, basically. But I'll just run you through the points. So after this race, we currently lead UAL Supercars on 92 points. You also get a point for pole position in the races as well. You don't get a point for fastest lap though, unfortunately. But we lead on 92 points. It is John in second place on 70 points. Uh, Taco Walkley in third on 45 points. Uh, Arctic Devils in fourth with 42 points. Callum in fifth with 36 points. Jordan in sixth with 27. Uh, you got... Oh! Yuko wasn't in this race, unfortunately, but he is 7th with 25 points. Uh, my teammate and Kato were tied for 8th on 24 points. Uh, JWF was 9th on 18 points. And Lewis Scaife, yeah, he had issues all through this race, basically. And he, he's last on 1 point, unfortunately. But that does mean that we lead the championship currently. So that's a good result from us. Uh, just want to say thank you once again to my teammate for making this livery for me. It was I really like the livery. I enjoy uh, driving the car as well, which I made the setup for. And uh, yeah, just really good races tonight from everyone involved. So thank you to everyone who raced. It was really enjoyable. And uh, thank you to you all for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And uh, take care now. Bye-bye.